guys, good morning. I'm right off the highway today, heading south through Maine. Uh, saw a couple things that caught my eye off the, off the highway here, so I want to check it out. So you can see this old uh, truck camper here, advertising Bentley's campground with a wood-burning stove up there. A little rusted out, but that's cool. And then a V-twin bike suspended up in the air. All right, more uniqueness here in Maine. The old car, the robot, the Christmas tree of hubcaps, I guess. That's pretty cool, actually. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, look at all the license plates. Wow. Oh, I'm digging the uh, Bud Light Helmet Barbecue Grill. That's cool. Wow. Oh, and more road signs. Cool. Interesting. Anything unique and interesting that's just not normal is always fun to stop and look at and share it with you guys. But get back on the road. for best Halloween roadside decoration goes to this place. <laughs> Ghostbusters theme. Look, they're all wearing the backpacks. <laughs> that just absolutely cracks me up. I love it. Very nice work, guys. Get on your game. This is not your uh, best day. Uh, no parking. Let's say 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. all spaces, which means I have to find another place to park overnight. Yes, I'm talking to my camera. Uh, anyway, I don't even know really where I am. Just some ballpark parking. Everywhere else has meters here in the town of York. Wait a minute. Let me go over here. Oh, that's the water on the other side here. We're not really that, not really that far. Anyway, I'll do what I do a lot of times. Get parked where I'm fine. I can park here till, like I said, 1 a.m. But I'm gonna hop on the bike real quick, go scope out the surrounding area, and basically try to find an overnight spot to park. So basically I'm just riding around looking for a safe spot to overnight park the RV. But I also like the exercise. It's like a closed up or run down zoo and amusement park. York's Wild Kingdom. I know, I'm just looking at it. It looks like it has not been open or operated in quite some time. But I'll bet the locals will say something else, like it comes to live in July and August. It's just kind of weird that it's just like wide open to look around. You got a haunted house. Absolutely spooky. <laughs> I mean, if it's a zoo, I wonder if all of the pets have to like go somewhere else during the off season. I don't know what's going on with this place. Here's a ticket booth up here. Zoo only tickets, off season special, $8. There's no dates listed or anything. There's a car parked here. Hmm. 
there's nothing here. That's really odd. Here's a big lot, but it's pay only. They've got meters uh, all over the place. Not very busy this time of year, that's for sure. Look at the water. Woo! That's awesome. Every single car that's parked here has people inside their vehicles. Every single car. All those cars, just people sitting in their vehicle. Couldn't really ask for a nicer day in full. Definitely pretty windy, but I love it. You see all the water whipping around in the rocks way out there. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna park where I'm at till it gets dark, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. And then I'm gonna park on the other side of this Sands Motel right here on Hawk Street, which also has a view of the water. Uh, because there's no parking restrictions listed anywhere. Unlike some of these other side streets, it says no parking this side of street, no parking both sides, whatever. So, and then I'll be out of here first thing in the morning. So, yeah, that should work. Okay, wait, I'm still going to recommend this place for other people that are in the York area and want to go to the beach, even though there's three hours of the overnight where you can't park here for free. But look at this, little trail through here. You don't have to drive or go around or anything, and there's that lighthouse that I was just at over there by the water. Perfect little shot so I can go grab my drone and pop it up over by the water in the water. the beach I'm in a great mood I will just say I'm sorry for the gimbal guys this thing that keeps everything steady uh, I don't know what's doing um, I can't really show you I guess you can't really see it when I'm holding talking it what's happening is the gimbals going toot, 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 toot. that's why when you watch my video it doesn't look stable anymore the thing just I think it's done uh, so I'll get back to you on that one but just know there's nothing I can do about it Pop up. Good boy, how you doing? You like the beach? Yeah, man. Life's a beach. It's all good. Don't sweat the small stuff. Mm. Why, what big paws do you have? <laughs> you aren't going to wake up with a smile every day. Some days you won't be happy. Some days you might feel alone and ignored. But these feelings won't last forever. Believe me, at some point, the smile will return. Nothing lasts forever. But fighting your emotions and your feelings is a waste of time. Enjoy the ride. Life is short. Look at what you have. Look at where you've traveled. What you've learned. What you've shared. But most of all, enjoy what is yet to be smiled at. Today. Today is what we make of it, or better yet, how we react to it. So smile. Hey YouTube, I am back tonight. Let me get some more light on. Apologize for the low light. Uh, it's dark outside. It's uh, 
It's a quarter to nine now, and I still have not moved from my little spot where I said I wanted to move, but I'm going to make dinner, and I was going to share with you one really cool, easy RV food that I like to prepare, and then I have leftovers for, which is just, just, just hear me out. You know, I, I know it's processed food, but it's easy, right? I get these uh, six-pack of banquet meats. They come in a variety of different flavors. I like the Salisbury... This is not Salisbury steak. This is boneless pork. I got the wrong one. Anyway, yeah, I get this one. It's like two eighty-eight for uh, six of these patties. Put them in the microwave for 12 minutes or do them in the oven. Cook the whole batch is what I'll do. And then I get these cheap Idaho and potato and just add two cups of boiling water. I like the Golden Selects. The point here is to make this, supply it, and then uh, eat two of the six patties with some mashed potatoes and then have two extra meals put aside ready to go in the refrigerator in their containers. Let me show you those. These are the cool containers that I have. I got these at a thrift store. I'd love to have more of them, but little uh, three-piece in there with a the lid, easy to go in the fridge and just pop it into the microwave and uh, have an instant meal. You uh, know, it's funny, I don't often make uh, longer videos very often, but that's based on a little bit of homework that I do myself. YouTube has some analytics that are really helpful. Um, one of those that I track is the average watch duration of my videos. And right now I think I am sitting at six minutes and four seconds is the average time that people watch my videos. So what does that say? Making a video that lasts longer than eight minutes is almost pointless. So if you're watching this right now, you are part of the people that actually enjoy watching the videos to the end where there's a little more of the day-to-day -day life of the RV that I kind of like to share with people. Um, I don't mind turning the camera on and filming certain aspects of life that maybe aren't as exciting because it's rainy, it's cold, it's dark, there's nothing new to experience in the world, it's just something inside the RV. Which I'm totally okay with sharing that with you as well. Uh, the other thing on the analytics page that I can track is each video to see where huge drop-offs have happened. So. I can literally go back and say, oh, wow, I lost 15 to 19 percent of my, my viewers stopped right here at this particular, between this two seconds right here. What happened? Oh, I said something negative. Um, oh, I switched to a shot that people didn't like, or that's right when the drone shots ended or something like that. So uh, the analytics page on YouTube can be helpful, but, you know, if people are always asking me for longer videos, every once in a while I'm going to try to share a little bit more of my life with you guys, and it's there if you want to watch it later. All right, got the uh, microwave cooking up the uh, boneless rib patties. Many of you guys know I don't like chocolate. I don't eat a whole lot of chocolate. Actually, really the only candy I really eat is Starburst candies. Uh, but I did get some saltwater taffy. Sometimes I like these from Maine. Uh, saltwater taffy can be good, I guess, as a replacement for Starburst or something. So anyway, got a little souvenir for dessert. All right, well, water's boiling here. Go ahead and do our mashed potatoes. You know, because it's such a highly technical uh, thing to do here. You know, adding a package to hot water. <laughs> there we go. Meat's almost done up in the microwave. Put a couple patties on a paper plate here. Scoop a third of this mashed potatoes on here. Spoon a little bit of gravy over the mashed potatoes. I kind of like the brown gravy that's in the Salisbury steak better, but hey, this works. A little bit on the meat. Add some salt. And there you go. Dinner for one. But putting the leftovers into these containers, and then I'll be putting them in the fridge, and then I've got two extra meals. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish dinner here, and then um, we gotta get over to that other camping spot over there for the night, because actually I have till 1 a.m. to move, but still, I'd like to get over there and get comfortable. And see, there's what my leftover plates look like. I'll wait for them to uh, cool down a little bit, I put the lid on them, and uh, throw them in the fridge. Easy peasy. All right, uh, not driving too incredibly far, just gotta go around the bend get to that spot I showed you earlier. So, quick little trip here. This is a nice place to park during the daytime, but uh, yeah. All 
All right, well, is it glamorous? Uh, no, not really. Is it functional? Yeah, I can't break the law. If it says no parking between the nightly hours, then I just can't do it. Uh, the water's right over there, though. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow what I'm actually going to do is come back outside, come back out to the water, uh, and kind of just enjoy the day. I'm not going to film anything tomorrow, but I promise I'll be back with you guys in a couple days here because... Uh, well, we still, if I'm going south along the coast, I still got to go back through a little bit of New Hampshire before I get to New York City and Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia and everything. So anyway, guys, uh, have a good day. Jax and I will see you guys in a couple days. Hey, guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.